Hello Art Beaters! Becky here for Artbeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a peyote bezel on your bead embroidery projects. We've been taking a look at a couple different uh, techniques for your bead embroidery projects and this is the next video in the series. This is a great technique to build on that two seed bead backstitch technique we talked about before and it's going to make a really nice look around a cabochon, especially a domed cabochon. So let's take a look at how to make a peyote bezel in your bead embroidery projects. To make a peyote bezel for the cabochon or focal that you're using in the center of your bead embroidery project, you're going to build off of the first row of two seed bead backstitch that you do around your uh, focal. Now, this would be done um, right after making this first row, so these, these other rows wouldn't be here yet. So you would have just finished your first row of two seed bead backstitch, this turquoise row here, and your thread will be coming out of the last beads you added. So to start this peyote bezel, you're going to add a bead to your thread. You're going to skip over this next bead and go through the next bead over after that. Much like the peyote stitch. And you're just going to keep doing that all the way around your row of two CB backstitch. So add a bead, skip over the next bead in the row of backstitch, and go through the next bead over after that. And this is going to be the start of your peyote bezel. So you can see it's kind of starting like this staggered look. So just keep going with that. Okay, I have added beads all the way around this first row of two seed bead backstitch and back at the beginning. And I'm going to simply step up through that first bead I added to my peyote bezel so I can add another row of peyote stitch. Making this next row is very similar to creating that first row. You're just going to pick up a bead, skip over the bead that's staggered below it, and go through the next bead in the staggered row that you just created. And you just do that around the edge of the stone. And by pulling it kind of brings those beads together around the edge of your cabochon or focal bead. Whatever you're using is the focal of your bead embroidered piece. So pick up a bead, skip over that staggered bead below, go through the next bead over in the peyote bezel and keep going. And you can see that this 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 uh, peyote bezel is kind of covering up the edges of that focal bead I've chosen. And after this row, I'm going to add another row of smaller beads. And what that's going to do is that's going to cinch up this peyote bezel, um, make the make the rows tighter, and cinch it up around the edges of that uh, focal bead. Um, so that'll be a really nice edge, but I'm just going to continue this row of my peyote bezel all the way around the bead. So it's super easy. Just pick up a bead, skip over that staggered bead below, and then go through the next bead over in the peyote bezel. Okay, I've completed my second row in my peyote bezel, and again, you can see how that is covering up the edges nicely. And now to cinch this all together even closer to the edges of that focal, I'm going to use a smaller seed bead for my next row. 
These are size 8 aught seed beads, so I'm going to use some 11 aught seed beads for this next row in this wonderful gold color. So to start the next row, I need to step up into the next row up, and then I can start adding my beads to this row. All right, so I've stepped it up. I'm going to pick up one of these smaller 11 aught beads and do the same thing. Skip over that bead below it and then go through the next bead in the row. And you'll see that because I'm using that smaller bead and I'm pulling my thread, it's kind of cinching up this bezel. So that's going to um, get even closer to the edge of this focal. See that? And it's going to look really nice because I'm just going to do this one row of this smaller bead and it's that nice contrasting gold color. It's just going to add a little like almost scalloped look to the edge here. I'm really liking how that's turning out. So I'm just going to keep going with that and making sure I'm pulling so that that is looking really nice really nice touch to this frame that I'm creating for this beautiful focal that I've picked out. So that's the fun of all these bead embroidery techniques. You can really build on them and embellish as much or as little as you want. Super fun. So I'm just going to keep going with that all the way around my focal. All right, I've got my last peyote bezel row in, and it just does a really nice job of making a clean edge of this beautiful focal. Um, really love those little pops of gold in there. So cute. And that's pretty much it to finish off. You're just going to weave your thread back into the peyote stitch, loop it around within the thread, and you'll kind of catch those threads as you loop it around, securing it, and then you can trim it, um, and you'll have a beautiful piece. And like I said earlier, we do have other videos for the other techniques featured in this bead embroidery piece. We do have a video for the two seed bead back stitch that you build upon. We have a video for the brick stitch edge, this pico edge, and the beaded bail. So any help you need with bead embroidery, we've probably got a video for it. So make sure to check out uh, those videos on our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any more questions or what you want to see next by leaving a comment on this video. Make sure to also leave a like too. It's really great when we get likes and comments from you guys. We love seeing your support and hearing from you. And also make sure to subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when videos like this one are out. Thank you guys so much and I will see you for the next one. Bye.